move your website as in migrate one website from migrate your website from one C panel to another. All right, my name is Amadine Tiosa. If you are just coming to the my to my channel, please do well to subscribe and also hit the notification bell to get latest updates. Okay, so in this video, this particular video I will be doing, I will be showing you how to migrate your website from one C panel to another. How to migrate your what your what your WordPress website from one C panel to another. Okay, without wasting much of our time, let me quickly show you how to do that. This is a site, right? This is a site I just I just uploaded the demo, right? So I want to show you how to migrate this from one C panel to another. Okay. So once you are there, move over to the C panel. This is the C panel for this particular site. So this is the C panel, All right? So once you're in this C panel now, just come over to your file manager. All right? So go to file manager, manager, file manager. Okay, this is file manager. Click on it. All right. Remember the site I'm talking about is a sub uh, more like it is a folder. This particular size in the folder called info so come to this c panel then come to publish underscore html open it once you open it you can see the, fo the folder here right you can double click on it to see everything inside the the folder right to see everything inside the folder so what we will do right what we'll do now is come over to this particular folder just click on back Right, this is the folder right click on it and click on compress you can see it. click on it to compress it in the zip for uh, zip archive then you click on compress file All right so while this is compressing let me come over to this the uh, mobile like call it now let me come over to my the, to my cpan again i'll click on this then i'll come over to my wordpress okay Please take note, this is the file I want to migrate. Right, it has been zipped. This is it, it has been zipped. Okay, so what I, once I do this now, I will click on download. I will click on download, right? Click on it and click on download. You can see download here so that I can download that particular file. You can see it's already downloading. How many size? 78. So let's quickly wait for it to download. So while this is downloading, let me just show you something. So that I can load the database. As you are downloading the front end, also make sure you download the the the, the database. Yeah, the database, so that you can connect it together and have your website in a different C panel. Okay. So now let me come over to this again. I will come to my where is it? I will come to my WordPress. This is my WordPress. Click on it. Click on it. So the moment I click on it, you can see the this thing here. I want to be sure of the database, All right? I'll just come over to this place, edit uh, details, click on it. The moment you click on it, it will show you the name of the database. My database is WP513. That is the database. Good. So since I'm certain of the name of the database WP513, I can come over to my to my C panel now. I come over to my C panel. Let me just open this. Come over to my C panel and click go to where I have PHP my admin. You can see it here. Come to PHP my admin. Click on it. Once you click on it, right? Once you click on it, it will load the database of everything you have to load it. Now remember I told you that the database we are looking for is WP 513, uh, 513. So if I come over here now you can see my database WP 513. Click on it. Right? Click on it. You can see now. Then come to export. I want to export this. I'll click on export. You can see the database exporting five tables from s part one underscore wp513 you can see it here s part one wp5 underscore wp513 
So since we are certain that this database, just click on this and click on go. All right, you can see is exporting. Is exporting. All right, this is set. This is set. Now, since I've done this, let me just quickly wait for this to 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 download. Let me for it to download. Remember, we are migrating it from. Is here. You can see it now. Let me see. Okay, this is where I'm migrating it from. Right now, let me take it to a different website, upload and connect. So you can see that with this particular system, particular way, you can migrate any kind of website, be it WordPress, be it any, any script or anything. You can migrate it from one cPanel to another. All right, so now, once I've done this, once I've done this, let me just quickly wait for, the, for this to download. All right, let me wait for it to download. All right, as you can see, you can see that the the files have been downloaded successfully. You can see them here. Now, since we have done it, let's go and upload them in a different website. Okay, let me go back and upload them in a different website. Remember, this is what we want to upload. So what I will do is I'll go to a different browser. Let me just do that. I'll go to a different browser. Okay, I want to upload it on this panel. I'll come over to this place. Already I've created the this. I want to use the subdomain for it. The name of the subdomain is still info. Okay. As I'll come to this, I'll come to file manager. Come to file manager. All right. Come to file manager. Then I'll open the the public underscore HTML. This is it. Open it. Then locate the folder you created. This is my folder info. You can see the if the subdomain I created, there's nothing inside. Then I'll come here and I'll upload that particular this thing I downloaded, that info I downloaded. I will come here, click on upload. Then I'll click on select file. Click on select file. Then I will come over to this part. Where is this? Where is my download? My download. Come. Okay, this is my download. You can see it here. I'll click on this and I'll click on upload. All right, I'll wait for it to upload. You can see it's uploading. Why this is uploading? Let me come back to my file manager again. To my cPanel rather. I'll open it in the new tab. Remember what that one is uploading? Let me close this tab. Let me close some of this tab. Okay, let me close this. So what? Okay. Okay. All right. So why that one is uploading? Then I need to create a new database where I will upload that my SQL file I uploaded at that time. So I will come to this place. You can see it here. Click on it. And I will just type it info bb. That's my the, the database. Click on next step. All right. So I'll click on info arrow arrow. Then I will click on password generator. Use the password. I can copy this. Come to my. Do I have? Oh shit. Let me open a notepad. Let me open a notepad. Okay. Open a notepad. Just click on it. Okay. Click on notepad. Wait for it to load. Okay. Still loading. Right then, I will paste the password here. You can see the password. Going to edit it. No, let me just use it. So I'll paste it. Then I'll click on I have copied. Then I'll click on use password. You can see there. Then I'll click on create user. Right. So I'll click on don't, don't update. So I'll copy this to info. I'll copy it. Then stick onto my notepad. Where's my notepad? Then I'll come over to this place. I'll paste it there. Then I'll come over to this place. I'll tick all privileges. You can see it here. Tick all privileges. Tick all privileges. And I will click on next step. Good. Now that I have done creating the database, click on this again to go back to the cPanel. Then scroll down to where you have PHP my admin. 
I'll click on Paste My Admin. Right, once I click on it, the name of the database I created is what info bb. This is it. This is the info this is I created. So I'll look for it here. You can see it here. Info bb. Click on it. Then remember the other time we exported. Now we are importing. I'll click on import. Okay, I'll click on import and I'll click on browse. Then I'll go to my download. This is it. So you upload SQL file to database. I'll click on it and I'll click on what? Um, open. You can see it here. Then I'll not click scroll down and click on go. Okay, you can see it now. So while that one is going, look at the files that's already been uploaded. Remember, when you are uploading the file, wait for it to turn green like this before you can. With this now, it has successfully uploaded. Alright, then I cannot click on go back. All right, I cannot click on go back. Then I'll come back to this place. Go back to file manager again. Click on file manager. Alright, click on file manager. Click on php uh, public underscore html. Then look for the info dashboard. Where is it? Is it? Then you can see it now. Then right click on this. If you right click on it, you will see what extract. You can see it now. Can I extract? Once you are extracting, it will not turn to a folder. You can see it now. I will not click on close. Reload this. You can see they are reloaded. You can I cannot delete this off. Delete. I'll just delete it. I buy this what I want. You can see everything is inside. Now let me go back. Let me go. So everything is here. I cannot click on this. Open it again. Select all. And then right click. And click on what move. So I will just erase this info. The first info I will erase it. And leave it here. And so now click on move file. So everything has been moved to uh, info. So let me copy the URL now. Copy the URL. Alright, copy the URL. Then come to a notepad. Then I'll paste it. Go forward slash info. If you click on it now, you see what it's saying. Error establishing a database. You can see that the this thing has not been connected to a database. That's why it's giving us error. Now let's go and connect it and come back to this place and see what it will say after we have done the connection. Now let's go back. You can see it has been uploaded successfully. So since I've done this now, let me go back to my file manager. Let me just take a step backward. This is info. So since we have extracted, come to wp-config. Uh, WP this is it. Right click on it and edit. Okay, right click on it and edit. You can see the database we exported at that time. So we need to change this and put in our own new one, which we created. So come over to this place, you can see it now. The first database, uh, db underscore name is this, that's database name, copy it. Copy it, you can see this, copy. Right, copy. Then come here, remove this, and put in your own. Uh, control, v, uh, control V. Remember, you don't type, you don't type, you paste. You do copy and paste. When you are doing this, you copy and you paste. The second one is user. You can see the copy it also. Copy. Then come here. Come here. Control V. The last one is the password. You can see the password there. This is my password up here. Copy it. Alright. So once you copy, also come here. Where is it? You need, to, you need to be sure, control V. Once you are done with this three thing, then you save. Alright, now that we have saved this, then let's go back to the this thing. This is where you have the database. You are going to do three things here. The first thing is you come to this WPRS option. Click on it. Once you click on it, you will see the, the URL here, which these two things. I don't want this. This is the old one. You need to change this to the new one, which is what you have here. Right? Right? Click on it. Copy. Control. 
A control C got copy. Once you copy this now, you come over to this place, you click on edit. Right, you can see it now. This is not what you want. You just remove this and paste control V. Oh sorry. Remove this and you paste. Where is it? Okay. And you click on go. Right, we have changed that. Then also come down here. You do this too. Okay. Let me just control A, control V. Then I'll just add X to this. Right, then scroll down and click on go. Okay. I've changed the name and the this thing. If you want to also change the email, you can change the email. These are the two things that is mostly important here. Then the last thing. Now let's test this. You can see that it's showing error this thing. Now let's click on it and see. Press enter. You can see it now. You can see. You can see what we have. We have successfully um, uh, moved our website from one C panel to another. You can see the same thing we have here. Let me show you the same thing we have here. You can see now this is espasolution.com.ng slash info. The same thing we have here is now what we also have here. You can see it's astromyoption.com slash this. Now, how then do you not go to the back end of this? No, fully aware that you didn't follow the normal WordPress process. How then do you not go back? To go back, type in the same thing you have been typing WP dash admin. This is the, the back end of the where this thing. Oh, well, sorry, excuse me. Sorry, just a minute. All right. So then, how then do you not go back? Just type in the WP um, dash config and press enter. Once you press enter, you can see it will load you the WordPress site. Then how then do you not get the, the logins? To get the logins, come back to the PHP admin. Then scroll down to where you have the user. You can see the user here. Click on it. Once you click on it, you can see that the username is already admin, but you don't know the password. Click on this to edit the password. So I will need to change this now. I need to change this. I'll just type admin one, two, three, four, five, six. That's my password. But you don't leave it like this. You change it to MD5. You come to this user pass, click on it, and change it to MD5. Where is it? Okay, good. You can see the MD5 here. Make sure it's in MD5. That is the password uh, conversion for WordPress. So you must make sure it's in MD5. All right. Once you click on, uh, once you select MD5, scroll down and click on Go. All right. You can see it has gone back to the code format. You cannot see that it's no longer the this symbol. The password that changed to this is admin 1356. So I will now come back here. Normal admin, I can just put admin, then I'll come here, admin, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'll click on login, don't save, right, you can see that we have logged into the back end of this, right, you can see that we have logged into the back end of this, so with this now, we have successfully moved our website from one C panel to another, Right. Hope you're able to learn one or two things from this. Okay. So if you have any question, my WhatsApp number is there. Do well to reach out to me. Right. And I will guide you through if you're having any challenges. My name is Amazina Thank you for staying to the end of this. Have a wonderful time.